What's going on, everybody? Got another video for everybody, and um, this here was brought to me by a gentleman a few days ago, probably about five or six offhand. And it took me a while to really get to this. I mean, I was looking into it, but I knew people had more knowledge in the area, and I wanted to talk to them first and, you know, get some opinions on to it. So it by no means am I calling this person out as a scammer or anything like that. But it goes into more detail. Do you guys ever remember back whenever you used to want to snipe cards back, probably even, you know, six, seven years ago? You really didn't worry because it wasn't costing a whole lot of money. But nowadays you could snipe something. It's, you know, you could really end up, you know, backfiring on you in a way. And it could be because you don't take the time to, you know, look at the person's feedback and read through neutrals and everything else onto it. Um... You don't look at an item description, whatever it may be, because it's just one of them quick spur of the moments. Oh my gosh, it's up. I got to hurry up and get it type deal. So best advice to anybody offhand is when you're dealing with eBay, make sure you look at the description of the card. See what it is. See if they are allowing refunds or not. eBay is going to push a refund regardless. That's why my little uh, thing of the at the end is there. <laughs> Funny thing was, an ex-girlfriend of mine a long time ago used to make that little noise, so I figured it'd be kind of funny to put it up here. But what I want to say is this person does deal with consignments. No, it's not Probstein. No, it's not PWCC. It's somebody else. I'd never heard of the person, to be honest. The card market's huge. There's a lot of consignment people out there. I just never heard of them. And long story short, a gentleman bought a card off him. It was sent to him. Of course, it was the wrong card. Uh, on top of it, there was a, I'll show you guys, it's going to be kind of hard to explain this here. If you guys look at the top, there's like a tamper-proof seal put across the card. And basically, if you break that seal, you don't get a refund, he says. You can't do that. You, you can't, because I don't know the condition of that card. This is not a graded card. To where somebody's already supposedly looked at the card and gave it a grade for the overall condition. You can hide anything onto it. And your pictures might not show the exact thing, or you could probably ship me the wrong card by mistake. All kinds of things can happen when you mess with consignments. And this is one of the big reasons why there's only one person I will ever send anybody to and ask me about consignments, and that's Zach Kamen at DC Sports 87. Very easy to work with, straightforward on payments. He does them twice a day. You just send a message on Facebook, boom, you know, he'll get to you that day. I, I've never had an issue. I don't use him a lot, but I do use him for selling stuff just because I don't want to have the hassle on eBay and I want to put my attention in other places. So I'll show you guys his Facebook page in case anybody's ever doing consignments. You guys can join. He does breaks and stuff too. Really, really good guy. Easy to work with. Good customer service. He hired people that he knew in the industry uh, after he basically started with his family. and you know, move forward. But enough about DC Sports. I'll hit that later. He, real good guy there. But this guy here uh, sent the gentleman this card. Here was the wrong card, and he put that tamper-proof thing onto it, and he said that uh, uh, some of the comments on the feedback said because they broke it, they won't refund it. Don't ever, ever think that you can't get a refund. That seal there means nothing at all. Nothing. I mean, here's the thing. If I go out and buy a new PlayStation 5 and I open it up and I break that seal and it doesn't work, does that mean I'm not getting my money back? Probably not, you know? So, you just be very careful with, you know, bidding on stuff, especially consignment places that do a lot of business because things will get mixed up. They will. All right, I am going to take this off. And I'm going to pull up the other section here. Give me one second. I just want to show you guys so we can go through. And I'll show you who it is at the end. And there's no need to put this guy on blast. It's just more of a of a common, you know, general knowledge thing that I'm doing tonight. So if we start off, you can see right here, it says like new. <laughs> if you're doing anything with sports cards, I would not put like new. Especially if it's not graded, because anybody can request a refund no matter what. And I know there's all kind of new eBay rules and laws out there 
trust me, people are going to find a way over it. it. There always is. So one thing is when I see like new, eh, okay. But you're talking about this is consignment and more than likely, and this is somebody else's stuff. So again, you, I don't know if he, I don't know if he looks at everybody's stuff or not. I don't know anything on to it. But I went to the profile next. So if you look, he does do, he's done 77 uh, feed positive feedbacks this year. It's probably a lot more because not everybody leaves feedback. 209 neutral, 248 negative. So when you go through here, an accurate description. Well, I paid too much. Okay, these are all neutral. Scratched. Uh, instead of tape, uh, use seal instead of tape that leaves residue. Okay. Car damage wasn't listed in description. After purchase, realized picture and description were two different items. You know, many dents in the card, massive print line, terrible packing. It, it just goes on and on and on with it. To me, I know it's a consignment place. I just wouldn't mess with it with the feedbacks. I mean, I got it. You, nature of the beast, you're going to have negative and you're going to have neutral when you do a lot of transactions. Nature of the beast. And I just started going through and looking at them and everything like that there. You know, and there's different things on here caught my attention. And it, they vary in prices. Look, three hundred dollar card, twenty seven dollars, sixty eight hundred ten. Not the same item on the photo. Item arrived is off centered. So I mean, I guess it really comes down to: is he doing it by himself? Does he have people working for him that don't know what they're doing? There's all kind of th all kind of things that go through my mind when I do this. And like I said, this is purely opinion on to it. Not out to, you know, slander anybody's name or anything like that, trying to, you know, start up a business or been doing a business for a while. A lot of negatives on to here. But again, like I said, with the feedback, it's pretty high. My whole thing is when I go back to it, I'm just going to pull this down and pull this back up. My issue is the tamper-proof seal onto it. I got what you're trying to do. You don't want people to open it because you didn't fully inspect a card from one of your consignments. And you don't want to get on the hook for uh, it being mailed back. And then you have to do a refund and re relist it and sell it. Sorry, man. That's nature to beast. It, and by doing that there, you're going to have more skepticism than anything about that card. Regardless, this was the wrong card sent to the gentleman. It was the wrong card, too. So I am not a fan of this at all, as you can tell, pretty much. And I, like I said, I talked to a lot of people. Uh, well, a good bit of people. And most of them, I will say, is pretty much with me on to it that, you know, they wouldn't buy from them. This is a bad idea. It, is this a scam? No, it's not a scam. It's just bad business. Bad business across the board to do something like that. For one, I'm going to go back. Uh, hold on, let me find it here. Look right here. Here's the picture of the card. Okay, I got you got the picture of the card here. Nothing, you know, you can look at yourself, but you can't tell scratches unless somebody points it out. And I went through quite a few auctions. There's nothing on here where it says it has dense scratches, off center, nothing like that at all. So, you know, it's just a generic blur. It's just posted and everything of the guy's auction onto it. Again, I'm just not a fan of it at all with the way it's done it all onto it. And I wouldn't purchase anything off this person. Everybody else would have a different opinion. You might go out there and want to purchase. You might have had good experiences with them. But my issue at hand was the tamper-proof tape onto it. There's no reason for that. Is it just because so you don't have to do refunds? Because when I go here, it says you don't accept refunds somewhere on here. Yep, right here. Seller does not offer returns. Uh, yeah, you, you pretty much have to now in this state of the game. Whether it's for a good reason, bad reason, that you got to accept them, you got to anymore. Let's see, there was one more thing that I wanted to show you all onto here, and I'm trying to remember what it is. And please, like I said, don't go out there and hitting the guy up on message and stuff like that there. And to me, it's just bad business, and it's just something that somebody brought to my attention. That, like I said, this tamper-proof tape up here, I would not even mess with anybody putting that on cards. None. Because to me, in back of my head, that means something's up. 
And being a consignment business, I, like I said, I don't know what his process is to look into cards and, you know, just throwing a standard blur out there. Just not a fan of it. I mean, I'm just going to be straight honest and forward on to it. But what I do want to show you guys, and in case anybody's interested, I mean, I'll just put it out as all as once so that way everybody knows. This is DC Sports 87. He's on Facebook's private group. Just check out DC Sports 87. He does the consignments and breaks and stuff like that there. And he's very, very active with his channel. He's very good with his customers, both on eBay, breaks, sellers, whatever it may be. So if you're thinking, ever thinking about consignments, this is who I would refer you to in a heartbeat. I have had never had any issues. I know probably 100 people that use him offhand, and they've never had an issue, none. And that, that's a good thing. Now, granted, if you go check his eBay out, I'm sure he has negatives and neutrals, but he's also way up there high in sales for the year. It's expected. You know, you're never going to please everybody out there. And just like this gentleman here, you won't please everybody, but I just would not do anything or buy anything if I saw this come in the mail versus... And you don't see it because it doesn't say it's going to come with this tamper-proof tape non-refundable if you take it out. I would be a little bit more okay with it if you post that in your auction or your listings and stuff like that or show the picture that you sealed it afterwards in there or something. I, I, I mean, hmm. I've been pretty much, I don't want to say speechless onto this. I had to look at it basically at both sides as a seller and a buyer onto it. And I can understand both sides. And to me, you know, off of both sides, as a seller, I wouldn't do this at all. You know, you're just asking for trouble in this day and age in the card market by doing something like that. You're bringing more than likely negative attention to yourself. Even though you're trying to do it as a positive thing, I would think is the thought process. I mean, please, guys, let me know in the comments what you guys think onto this because it's something that has been brought up. And like I said, I talked to a lot of people onto it. I mean, when I say a lot, 7 to 10, that's a lot for one subject for me to talk about to anybody with, especially with these kind of videos and stuff. Normally, I'll do a lot of stuff on my own. I may talk to one or two people, but this was a little bit more in depth because I wanted to get an understanding to see what they thought of it. And like I said, a majority of them wouldn't buy off them at all. Now, the ones that would, I will tell you now, so if it was a graded card, they'd have no issue. So that's where it's at. But a tamper-proof thing, they're just not a fan of at all either. But each person's going to have their own opinion, their own view, and everything like that. Like I said, this was not a scam video. It was more of a thing to where if you're going out there and buying cards based off that picture, be very, very careful, especially if they're not putting stuff on there. They say like new and all this stuff because you're thinking it's packed fresh. And this is a consignment house. There's no idea who sent that into him. None. None at all. So... Big catches on to it all, but, you know, everybody's always going to, you know, go their own route on this stuff. But what I'd like to do with this video here, like I said, I'm not calling the guy a scammer or nothing like that out there. But let me know in the comments what you guys think. Would you, if you purchased something off of the site like that and it didn't show pictures and you got this in the mail and you're like, oh, cool, man, I can't wait to get out of this crappy case and put in something else. And you notice scratches, dents, and all this stuff onto it. Would you be upset? Would you want to do a return? You know, I can understand it not being a PSA 10, but if it's not even going to at least get me a PSA 8, which is a near mint condition, what I would think of like new would be near mint, I would be kind of upset onto it, especially if the stuff on there is very noticeable that he couldn't even take the extra 30 seconds to type in scratches on front of the card. Or even try to get a right angle to show it. I'm even a fan of people nowadays taking YouTube videos of the card, you know, in the light. And they're, like, maneuvering at different angles to show people and putting that link in their description. I'm a fan of that. Regardless of a lot of things out there, I think that is really going above and beyond to show people this is what I'm seeing onto it and stuff. I think that's going above and beyond, really. But let me know what you guys think. I didn't realize I'm hitting that 15-minute mark onto it. But something somebody showed me. 
I ran through, like I said, a good bit of people just to see some, you know, thoughts and feelings about it. And I just want to see what, there's a good majority of you guys and girls out there to comment in the videos. I want to see what you guys have to say on to something like this here. And look at both from the buyer and the seller point on to it. And, you know, if you got to write a paragraph, that's fine. If it's one sentence, because I, I want to see what the mass majority of people think on to it offhand. And it's just a, for general knowledge out there. I mean, for me, like I said, I'd stay away from it. I just see too many things through the years to where I just don't even want to get involved in the stuff like that there. It just leaves too much room for error and negativity that's brought back onto the seller. And a lot of times it backfires onto the buyer because other people are like, oh, that's the greatest thing ever. You know, you shouldn't say stuff like that. Well, that's why I would like to do more of the open discussion stuff and, you know, stuff based off of my opinion, solely my opinion on this stuff at that. And just see what everybody else thinks out there it's versus, you know, where I've actually pinpointed scams where I'll show that kind of stuff. But let me know. Uh, this is a Thursday video. Hopefully by this evening you guys will have a video up for the giveaway because it's scheduled for t today, which is Thursday when the video comes out. It's always weird when you're talking in the future. Um, so keep an eye out on that for the uh, 3,000 giveaway, 3,000 subscriber giveaway. And I'll have some uh, different little box opening videos that'll pop up. They might come up late, but no, that stuff's probably already been put in the store, too, on the website. So I always keep a check on the website for stuff being added. So a lot of times just add it before the video is out, unless I'm doing it live. But other than that, thank you as always, everybody, for the support. Uh, thank you for subscribing, leaving the comments, the likes, and all that stuff. It helps YouTube uh, push this stuff out to more people to see and get some knowledge. You're just coming into the hobby or back into it. I do appreciate it. And I will catch you all later. Have a good one.